Lambda expression is the most important and useful feature introduced in Java 8 with the purpose of enhancing Java language to enable functional programming. Lambda expression is an anonymous function meaning that it does not have a name. It enables you to pass a functionality directly to a method. First let us understand the meaning of second point after which we will look at the syntax of lambda expression followed by examples of lambda expression, the concept of functional interfaces and a working example program with lambda. Suppose we have an interface reader which has a read method. Let us create this interface. Now there is a class which has a read file method and takes an argument of type reader. Now in order to call this read file method, I need an object of type reader, right? But I cannot directly create an object of reader and write it like this. Since it is not allowed to create an object of interface in Java. One solution of this is that I create a class that implements this interface. Suppose I name it as CSV file reader and implement its read method. Then create an object of this class and assign it to a reference which is of the interface type and finally pass this reference to the read file method like this. With lambda expression, I do not need to take all this hassle of creating a new class implement the interface and its method in this class. I can directly supply the behavior or functionality here. This means that I can directly supply the body of the interface method implemented as an argument. So I do not need all these lines and I do not need this class as well. Bottom line is that with the lambda, you can directly pass an expression to a method that accepts an argument which is of the type of an interface, such as here. A lambda expression is not bound to any class or interface and is an independent block of code. Thus, a lambda can be passed to a method that accepts an argument of type interface A and same lambda can be supplied to a method that accepts an argument of type interface B, C and so on, provided that the signatures of method declared in all these interfaces are the same. Now let us understand the syntax of a lambda expression and how to write it. As stated earlier, a lambda expression is an anonymous function. Anonymous functions means a function which does not have a name. Now suppose we have a simple function that prints a message such as this. This is a normal function which does not have any relation to a lambda expression but it can be converted to a lambda expression and I will show you how. I can directly write a lambda expression for this function, but once you learn how to convert a function to a lambda, you will be more clear with the concept of lambda expression. So let's transform this function into a lambda expression. First of all, a lambda expression does not have a name. So remove the name from this function. Secondly, a lambda expression is used inside a class or a method and does not have any access related information associated with it. That is, a lambda cannot be public, private, protected or default. So remove access specifier from it as well. Now remains the return type of the function. In Java 8, the compiler has been made smart enough that it can determine the return type from the body of a function. Since this block does not return anything, the compiler knows that the return type is a void. If it would be returning a string, then the return type would be a string. Thus, with the lambda expression, you do not need a return type as well. Now the function reduces to a lambda expression consists of function arguments and closed within parentheses, followed by the body of the function, separated with an arrow. This definition has function arguments and closed within parentheses and a function body. If we add an arrow as a separate in between, like this, it becomes a lambda expression. So this is the syntax of a lambda expression. Now when we know the syntax, 
let's look at different examples of a lambda. Earlier we saw a lambda that does not accept any arguments and does not return anything. It is defined as now a lambda expression that accepts two integers and prints their sum can be represented as Remember that a lambda expression always represents a function whose syntax matches with the method of an interface. Thus, you do not need to write the type of the arguments of a lambda expression as they are automatically inferred from the interface method. Thus, this lambda will be reduced to this. A lambda expression can also return a value. A lambda that accepts two integers and returns the sum will be written as A lambda expression can contain any number of lines in its block. Example, till now we looked at the usage and syntax of a lambda expression. Now let us know some important properties of a lambda expression. A lambda can take 0, 1 or any number of parameters and close between parentheses. In case of more than one parameters, they should be separated with a comma. If there is only one parameter, then parentheses can be omitted. If there is a single statement in the lambda expression, then curly braces in the body can also be avoided. Type of parameters do not need to be specified as they are inferred or determined from the type of arguments of the interface method that this lambda represents. As explained previously, a lambda expression can be supplied to a method that accepts an interface as argument. But there is a small condition with this statement. The condition is that this interface should be a functional interface. A functional interface is an interface which has only one method declaration. This makes sense since the type of the arguments of lambda are automatically inferred from the interface method definition. But if an interface contains five methods, how does the compiler know which method's argument should it match with the arguments of the lambda? The solution is a functional interface having only one method. This makes clear for the compiler that it should match the lambda with a single interface method. A functional interface has an at the rate functional interface annotation over it. A runnable, comparable, comparator, action listener are the examples of functional interfaces in Java. Thus, if we look at the source of comparator, there is this functional interface annotation applied over it. It is not mandatory to apply a add the rate functional interface annotation, but adding it will ensure a compile time check and the compiler will not allow you to add more than one method to the interface. Also note that when we say that there can be only one method declaration in a functional interface, it means that there can be only one method without a body or one abstract method. Starting Java 8, you can add default methods in an interface. These default methods have an implementation. Let's go back to the comparator interface once again. So you might find more than one methods in a functional interface, but there will be only one method without an implementation. That is the method which will be matched against the lambda expression. A functional interface can have abstract methods inherited from the object class, but they are not considered as the interface's own methods. Now let's look at a real example of using a lambda in a practical application. You might have created a new thread in your application while learning Java. This is how you use a thread. By creating a class that implements a runnable interface, providing an implementation of its run method. For creating a new thread, you create an object of the class implementing runnable and pass it to thread constructor since thread constructor expects an object of runnable interface. Finally, you call start on the thread reference and the code written in run method of the class implementing runnable is executed. Now since runnable is a functional interface having only one method, this is a perfect candidate for using lambda expression. 
remember from our earlier discussion that we can pass a lambda expression where an object of interface is expected. The lambda expression should match the method declared in runnable interface. That is, it should not return a value and should not accept any arguments. Thus, we can write an expression as this does not accept any arguments and does not even return a value. Now, in place of this object, you can write the lambda expression that we created above. When this expression is supplied here, the compiler knows that you are defining a method that accepts no argument and does not return a value. In short, it is functionally equivalent to the method of the interface that should be supplied. Calling start will now execute this line of code. Let's run the program. It works. A lambda expression can also be assigned to a reference of the interface type. Thus, this can be assigned to a runnable and we can pass this reference in place of this code. If you compare this line with the traditional approach of implementing an interface anonymously, then both the syntax appear to be the same. Thus, you can also say that a lambda expression is an implementation of a functional interface. And the one with lambda is concise and easy to write. Now let's sum up all the things that we learned in this video. A lambda expression is an anonymous function, meaning it does not have any name. A lambda expression can accept 0, 1 or more arguments separated by parentheses and it may or may not return a value. If there is only one argument in the lambda expression, then the parentheses are optional. A lambda expression can have more than one statement and close between curly braces. If there is a single statement in the expression, then the curly braces can be omitted. Lambda expression can be supplied as argument to a method which accepts an argument of an interface type. This expected argument interface should be a functional interface. A functional interface contains only one abstract method. A lambda expression can be considered as an implementation of a functional interface. That is all for this video. If this video helped you out, then hit like and share this video. Subscribe the channel for more such updates. Thank you.